popular Emeka Nobis that's always in our spaces on social media. Um, it's a privilege to have you here once again. Um, you've been an author of several books that have sold thousands of copies internationally and locally. And um, everyone is wondering, what is it doing that we are not doing? I mean, people are on social media every day trying to make sales, and after all your efforts, you barely sell up to 30 copies, and someone is selling over 1,000 copies. So what strategies did you adopt, have you been using, that has been working for you? Right, so when it comes to authoring books, actually, there are a lot of things, a lot of strategies that, that I have over the years, and I didn't start out today where I am. I mean, my experience was in 2011, I wanted to write a book, wrote the book, felt that people were going to buy the book, published 1,000 copies of the book, sold to my friends and family and church people who were showing sympathy towards me. And after doing 200 copies, I couldn't sell anymore. So I had to start understanding what really makes books to sell. It's a full body of knowledge by itself. The first thing is this, you have to have an understanding of yourself because that's where it starts, from the soul to understand the fact that you have got something you've, that's valuable, something that is amazing, something that is worthy to put out there in the world. Secondly, you need to understand what actually will make the book to sell. So people just want to write books, but there's a psychology behind even the titling of the book in the first place. So let's say, for example, somebody is here and you want to go and write a book and you title the book, The Five Ways of the Ego and Success. Nobody knows you. You're not an expert, you're not in people's faces, you may not sell the book. But if someone like Bishop David Oyedepo writes such a book, he will actually sell because it's influential, it's known. So, um, titling of a book is also psychological, deeply psychological. What will you do in such a way that when someone reads, sees the title of the book, even sitting on the shelf or hearing the title of the book, they want to get the book? Typical example, the book that I wrote, Your Book We Sell, is prophetic. Before I came out with that title, I spent six months thinking about the title. And so when I declared the title, it was about, it was prophetic. Your book will sell. I mean, you hold it and you know that your book will sell. Second, uh, thirdly is the fact that you have to have an addiction for the numbers. So I don't do like every other writer. Many of them are so hidden inside and they believe this thing about, I hear money around where, I mean, you have a good thing that is going to sell itself. That is absolute bother dash to me. So I have something, I have to consistently, viciously be in your face even when you're sleeping. That is me. Every other writer can do something different, but for me, I am always putting out myself there in people's faces, doing the things that even the normal authors are not doing. For example, coming to Aware Here, I had already started writing about my coming on social media, right? I'm telling the videos that I'm coming to Aware, um, if you want to connect with me, buy a copy of my book, and then I'll have a session with you. That's also started to sell. So there are so many things that we can do, so many things. The thing is about me trying out a lot of things, even the things that are not written in books. So I do a lot of unorthodox things, things that will shock individuals. That's another way I sell. Sometimes <laughs> the last picture I did that I pulled off, pulled off my shirt and then I rubbed um, oil on my body. I don't have big chest, but I took two copies of my book and I put it in front of people and I said, that the Federal Minister of Health warns that <laughs> you have to read books on a daily basis if you don't want to die young. That picture went viral. Ladies were downloaded, I don't have chess, but ladies were downloaded on their phones <laughs> because I want to consistently create the conversations. Even though they're not buying, individuals keep referring me as the expert to come when it has to do with authoring books. So you have to go away from the usual, just doing smash my kind of thing and be vicious with exposing yourself Consist See, three things I do every day on social media. The first thing is that I inspire individuals. I share my story of how I'm getting successful and the things that I'm doing. The second thing is teaching. So the things that I learn, I teach. I don't hide what it is that I, I know. Individuals will say, if I write content today, write plenty lines, which one will I write tomorrow? But I have a belief that I'm an ocean that never dries up. So I'm consistently sharing value. Because as I'm sharing more value, God has seen me as someone that value should flow to. And so incidents, events, occurrences, interactions, my inspiration that I'm getting consistently bring value in my direction. So I'm consistently teaching. Then the third thing which I see a lot of individuals don't do is that they remove the selling part. 
There is never a day on social media that will not see me doing three things. I must inspire you, I must teach something, then I must sell. Selling has been defined by me that if I don't sell something, someone's destiny is in trouble. Mm. If I don't sell something, someone doesn't, someone has to invest in what it is that I'm doing to be able to experience transformation in their own lives. So I do these things consistently every blessed day on social media. And that's how I keep selling the things that I am keep selling. And you need to realize that as you keep exposing yourself, you are drawing opportunities to yourself. Like individuals, yesterday when we were, we were, we were just when we were eating, I have, I have never written a proposal in my life. I have never in my life. But by virtue of, of exposure, consistently putting myself addicted to the fact that every blessed day, at least five people must know who a mecha is, I begin to draw opportunities my way. Approached me and said, okay, why can't we reproduce this book in the US? And I'm like, how? Because of consistently pushing myself out there in the public. So if you're an author here or you're thinking of writing a book or authoring a book, which I feel everybody here should do, like you've seen the, the lady that raised um, $68,000, she has a book, right? So employ all these unorthodox ways, but most importantly, put yourself out there. And the phone that we have in our hands is a very, very powerful way. Your Instagram, your, social, your, your Facebook, your WhatsApp status, your stories, consistently put them to teach, inspire, and sell. That's how I do my thing. Yeah.